Welcome. In this video, I just want to go over how to view cameras live in Freedom VMS, both using EMAPS and without EMAPS if you don't have any EMAPS configured. Now, to use EMAPS, you have to have EMAPS configured on your system. It requires uh, two monitors. You know, over here, I have the main monitor. In my case, it's on the left, and the EMAP monitor is on the right. Okay, so I've got my EMAP open here. Uh, if it wasn't open, uh, I can click this button down here, which opens the EMAPS. So EMAPs are comprised of a base image, usually a, a plan of your site uh, or location. And on those images, we have what's called hyperlinks. You can have camera hyperlinks, which are the uh, red looking uh, camera numbers in this case, or you can have the uh, blue looking camera icons pointing in certain directions. You can actually create your own custom uh, hyperlinks in Freedom as well. You have that option. And you also have what's known as a map hyperlink, which takes you to a different map, which this is up here. In this case, we've got two maps, a ground floor and a first floor. If I wanted to go to the first floor, I'll click on that button and vice versa to get back to the ground floor. Double click. So to select cameras, I simply drag, I'll say 239, just drag it over to a tile. And it changes to this uh, red, indicating the camera is being displayed in one of the tiles. So I'll drag that over. So it's as simple as that. And I'll drag one of these. And again, the uh, state changes to red, indicating that it is being displayed on one of the tiles. So it's as simple as that. A lot of people prefer using uh, EMAPs because uh, you don't need to know what the camera names are for the particular locations. Now to view cameras without EMAPs, uh, you have two options. You can use the uh, device list, which is this list here. Each of these black uh, icons represent a device. If I click on the plus, it exposes the cameras under each of those devices. So to select a camera, I can simply click and drag the actual camera icon to a tile of my choosing and just drop it. Um, when they're being displayed, they turn green, like you see here. So that's a simple matter of uh, dragging. Now the devices can be viewed in one of two ways. Um, device list and camera view which it's currently in so you've got the actual device and we've got the cameras under those devices but you can also right click and show and select show camera list only and that just gives you a list of cameras only which can be beneficial if you've got multiple devices you can see all the uh, continuous cameras in that list and you can change back of course to list device and camera now you can also expand this list to give you a full vertical list which removes this uh, control panel uh, interface. To do that again you just right click over the device list and you select expand camera list. And that as you see gives us a big long list which uh, some people prefer in large sites. And you can uh, bring the control panel back by saying reduce camera list. So that's how you toggle between those two. Now if you wanted to view cameras from a, uh, all the cameras from a device at once, uh, there are two ways to do it. Um, this recorder up here is a 16 channel, so I'll change to a 16 tile layout so I have enough tiles. And I'm going to right click over the recorder I want to view, and say preview all cameras in mainstream in my case. And that will open all the cameras from that device. Just make sure you don't exceed the uh, CPU limit or your network limit. And the other method to select uh, all the cameras from a device at once is to click and drag the black device icon. So let's say I want to select this one. I click and drag that to the very top left tile and let go. And that opens all the cameras from that device. Now the other method of uh, selecting cameras without EMAPS is using the group connect button, which is this uh, area down here. And we're currently on the group. If it wasn't on the group, it may look like that. You click on the group connect and whatever uh, groups you have configured, if you have any, it's listed in this list. So I'll select that one, then I'll click connect and that will connect that uh, predefined group. Now, if you want to create a group for yourself, uh, it's quite easy, provided you have uh, set up rights. So what we do first is select how many cameras you want. Um, I want four cameras in my group, so I'll select the four-way tile down here. 
and then you select the cameras and you simply drag the cameras you want in your group so I might want this one here and I might want that one and I'll take that one and I'll grab that now if you're happy with your camera selection uh, you can right click on it and say create group if you're not happy with it you can close one of them let's say you don't want that one and you can drag another one in there then to save that you right click over one of the tiles and say create group from layout I'll call this uh, external one now if I close all the tiles if I want to select my group go to the group connect panel and I'll see my external one here and click on connect and that will open that group it's as simple as that now if I wanted to close a uh, camera I've got a few options to do that I can either double click on the uh, emap hyperlink that's currently red and that will turn off that uh, that tile it would close it or I can go over here and right click on the tile and either select close video or if I wanted to close them all I'd select close all live video like so if I had a grip display this would say like it says here disconnect so if I wanted to close that group I'd click on the disconnect and that will close that camera now we'll just go over how to use the freedoms uh, digital zoom feature so I want to zoom in on this area camera here so I'll double click to make it a full screen and then to zoom in on a particular area you drag from the top left to the bottom right like so and let go of the mouse and that will uh, zoom in on that area and I can also use the mouse the mouse wheel I'm just using the mouse wheel here to scroll as well so again from the top left to the bottom right and while it is in a zoom state you can actually use this control down here to move about the image and if you want to turn to uh, its original zoom state or unzoomed there are two options to do this you can right click over the video image and select reset digital zoom like so or you can actually use the mouse wheel and just keep on going out until the this control box disappears which means you're in an unzoomed state and to return to your previous tile layout you simply double click on the image again and it will return you to your previous layout now if you want to take a snapshot image of the um, any of the pictures you simply right click over the tile that you want to take the picture from and click on snapshot like you see here and I'll take a snapshot of that now to view uh, the snapshots you go into playback now to enter playback we click on the green button down the uh, bottom right of the interface so I'll click on that okay then I click on the search button just over here click on search and then I select view snapshots click on that and then I can view uh, the pictures I can use the up and down arrow to scroll through the different pictures of uh, taken the snapshots if you had a printer connected to the computer you could actually print these snapshots you can also delete uh, the snapshots from here as well and you can now export these snapshots when you do a backup now just a word of warning regarding uh, viewing multiple HD cameras there is a limit on how many HD cameras you can view uh, that limit limitation is due to your CPU resources and also the available network bandwidth you have um, so if you look at my system down here I've got a fairly powerful processor in mine um, I'm already up to 56% uh, of CPU usage when it gets past 70% uh, that means you should close some of the uh, video tiles uh, you can in this version now also restrict the tiles that uh, a user can select okay I'll just give you a quick tour of the interface uh, these are known as video tiles uh, these are what the video appears in you can change these there are a number of different video tile layouts 
uh, and you can click on these down here these are the buttons down here so th these are the visible ones there are a few more under the more um, menu button and you can also change to full screen to get the maximum uh, size of the video tiles to get out of uh, full screen you right click and say exit full screen and just moving up to the top here we've got our logo which is also the about section if I double click on the logo it will give me uh, the version number that I currently have so in my case it's version 3.4.150.92 uh, and if you had multiple monitors you can actually use the logo to drag uh, the interface to a different monitor you simply drag it by the logo and moving down we've got our control panel control panel has three different options the group connect which is currently being displayed here it's where you can connect to groups so it's handy sometimes if you see a black screen uh, and you have a group just to uh, hit the connect button or sometimes you have to hit the disconnect then uh, connect button and your cameras should be displayed now the blue border around the tile up the top here you see is known as the currently selected tile sometimes this can have a relevance to uh, what activity you're trying to do for instance if I wanted to control a P2Z camera it would have to click on the tile to make it the selected tile before uh, the controls would work and I see the name of the camera down here down the bottom in the status bar and moving along in the control panel we've got our color audio controls uh, they control how the picture appears in some of the video not all cameras are supported for this function then we've got our P2Z control panel which is obviously to control a PTZ so if we had a PTZ here and we select the tile we can move the PTZ like such and we can also go to different presets by clicking on the go and we'll go back to number one now we can also start and stop tools PTZ tools in freedom you do this again by uh, opening up the PTZ control and selecting the tour number that you want just be careful on some cameras uh, it's offset by one meaning that it starts at zero instead of one so on the camera you'd have to configure two or two which is will actually be two or one in freedom on some cameras so if I wanted to start two or one here I'd click on go and that will start the tour and to stop it I will simply click the uh, stop button and that stopped the tool and I should say to zoom in on the camera we've got the zoom button down here so we can zoom in like so and zoom out and just another thing on the uh, the zoom option if you have a camera with a motorized lens like some of the HD CVI cameras and some of the IP cameras uh, you can actually use the uh, zoom button to uh, move the motorized lens like so then it will automatically refocus not all cameras are uh, compatible but you just select the tile that has a camera so I'll just widen that view again and again that's how you control a camera with a motorized lens in freedom okay moving on down the bottom to the these controls here I'll just briefly go over what each one of them is first one the uh, green play button is uh, where you go to playback if you want to enter the playback module to playback footage download footage or backup footage uh, or review downloaded footage that's uh, that's where you go and the next one along the uh, cog symbol is the setup that's where you can go into the software if you have the appropriate permissions and user rights to configure various aspects of the um, the software and then we have our emap button this opens if you have emaps and a second screen this opens the emap window on the second screen and then we have the lock I'll just explain the lock if the software is in a lock state uh, you won't be able to do anything until you unlock it and then you enter a username and password so if I try to uh, touch any part of the uh, controls it uh, pops up with the uh, login screen I said login 
So if you see the big red lock, it means you have to unlock the software before you can use it. So I'll do that now. And I haven't got a password on this one at the moment, so I'll just log in. And it changes from that red to the grey um, icon. And just before I wrap up this video, I just want to tell you about one other thing. Um, just up here in the device list, um, I'll change back to the device and camera option. So list device and camera. Now sometimes when you've uh, had cameras added to a recorder on site and you might be off site um, or in a different location, you might want to perform a camera list synchronization which checks the uh, device or recorder to see what cameras, if any cameras have changed or been added. And if you have permissions for those cameras, uh, they will be added to your list. And to do this, you simply right click over the particular device, like here, and select synchronize camera list for this device. And that just synchronized. Okay, that wraps up this video on viewing cameras live in Freedom. Thanks for watching.